Then if you want to apply your highlighter, apply it before powder and I like Smashbox Artificial Light, it is white. And I grab my little funny brush, grab it on my brush and apply it here. Don't blend it. Don't apply in your eye, you know, when the eye looks deep here and don't apply it because it intends your deep here, something like that. Doing the same with your other side. That you can blend it out. If you feel that you blend too much, you can easily remove it or blend it with a kabuki brush. Or if you want to remove some of it or blend it a little bit more with your skin, you can use this big brush like I and just a little bit blend down to remove harshness of the edges also you can apply it a little bit here on the nose or on the center of your face here and it will give you a little highlight and you see that your central parts of the face are highlighted Something like that. And here we're just creating our contouring and face will look more good. But next we have to powder our concealer zones. If you powder all your face, powder it. I don't, I just apply powder on my under eye. Check your concealer. And powder it. Also, if you apply powder all over your artificial light, you don't remove your lightings, highlightings, because if you apply transparent one, so don't worry about it. Next step, you can create your eyebrows. Oh, brows, sorry. <laughs> You can set it with your brow set, you know, I don't have this thing. And the last way to apply your blush or contouring your face and for it you can use your blush brush or contouring blush. And I prefer to use Sculpting Shape Powder that has this dark tone which is not yellow, makes your face yellowly, you know, cheeks. Also I don't like to apply coloring blushes. You don't know why. You apply and encounter in your face. If you're absolutely sure that your if you don't powder in your face and you're sure that this part is dry enough to apply countering powder here. about how to sculpt your face you can see my other video and also you have to apply powdering in here zone and 
move to your hair, inside your hair. And also apply it here and move it down to up, from down to the up. And here you can see the difference. Also you can correct your nose. And for this I'm choosing something like that fluffy brush and grab a little bit and contour it. But don't apply too dark color here because it will look unnaturally. And be sure that you will blend it. If you're moving too far here, as I am, I grab a little concealer and get a little bit highlight this part. Something like that. Also, if you like uh, colored blushes, you can grab a soft brush and grab a little bit of color, just a little, not too much. Remove it and apply it just on the part between dark dark part of your correction and the light one. Just a little bit in this place and it will give you a refreshing look. Don't apply too much because you can be too too bright. Because <laughs> I don't like when people applying a very bright pink blushes and become all around your faces looks red or something like that. And here we create a normal Flash and flawless look face, and it will be perfect on your promotion day or you know, even day or the photo shoots, anyway. So, the secret in very good coverage foundation and highlightings and correction. So, thanks for watching, hope you like it, and bye.